Hello, Jess Too Good here, and today I'm reviewing the almost most expensive LEGO Super Mario Summer 2021 set, which those always interest me. And this is the Resner Knockout set with a total of 862 pieces, three characters, and it retails for $70 in the United States. As with any of these LEGO Super Mario sets, they don't come with Luigi or Mario, only the starter sets do. But let's take a look at the characters first. So the four characters in the set are Brick Built Resners, a Toad, and Grohl. The two Resner figures included look similar, but they're just slightly different. This one has that fire bowl in the mouth, which you can open up the mouth just by pushing upward like this because both of them are connected with this Technic pin connection. This one doesn't have a fire bowl in the mouth. Then both of them have two different toy tags, which makes sense because if Lego Mario or Luigi step on these action tiles back to back and it's the same one, the second one will just be a coin. So since they want you to defeat both Resners, they give you two separate of these action tiles. But both require the same amount of stomps, which is five stomps to get the coins from them. If you guys don't know how the Lego Mario course building system works. Basically, the Lego Mario and Luigi figures read those, which are the action tiles, which are two by two stickers applied at the factory level. So when you get them, you don't have to put stickers on or anything. And that tells the figure which enemy they're battling. Anyways, Resners haven't appeared in any other Lego Mario set yet. So this is the first time we're getting them. It's nice to get that printed slope piece as well for the eyes. And it's interesting how this is built with the horns just being clipped on there. So you could rearrange them if you want to push them a little bit more to the side or whatever. Even the front right here is clipped on. So if you want to push this upward, you can do that as well. The $70 set last year gave us our two Toad figures with Toad and Toadette. This $70 set this year gives us another Toad, but this one is different from the last one because this is a blue Toad. So it's nice to have some variation there, as well as having that two by two brick where he looks very shocked, that's a new face print too. Other than that, it's really nice to get these uh, feet piece with the walking forward. I thought they only came in that brown color with the new Goomba of the airship set, but no, that's actually a nice inclusion here. Toad isn't an enemy, so you don't stomp on him or anything there. Instead, he has this two by two action tile, which when Lego Luigi steps on it, or Lego Mario, you get coins, which, I love that concerned phrase he says. Are you okay? <laughs> for Mario. Are you okay? Same thing. <laughs> so for Grohl, it's not just the Grohl character. They have to have the seesaw function to capture the functions of the game and translate it into this course building system. I love that new uh, printed uh, bigger tile piece and how it's just attached to this that just represents Grohl perfectly. <laughs> Nothing more there, but the mechanism involves two of these action tiles, one on each side with this seesaw mechanism. So basically, and you can even do this with two players, but uh, take Mario and Luigi and hit those action tiles without being hit. <laughs> I will say though, this is one of the easier of the course, I guess, mechanisms because getting hit by the Grohl character doesn't even damage Mario or Luigi. And they use the same action tile on both of these, unlike say the Resners. So there's really no need to go to the other side where you could just kind of spam it like, say this. And their end result is five coins. And the way the seesaw is built, just like any course mechanism, it's regulated to this one plate or a couple plates so that you could put this section into any one of your courses that you make. It's very versatile in that regard. But anyways, the seesaw goes in the corner there and there's a bunch more mechanisms in the build of the set. So let's see what each one of these individual actions do. And this is something that I can't believe they just threw into a set that is already loaded with a lot of interesting functions. Another start pipe. Now this pipe is the same yellow design that we got in the Master Your Adventure. Completely different feature though. We have a two by two tile at the front that shows a little clock and some coins. What could that mean? Inside, having Mario Luigi start the course, I love this. Instead of time, where any course that you start with the regular start brick, you'll have to beat the level in a certain amount of time. This one, you gotta beat the level by getting that amount of coins. And then at the very end, they'll say how quick you did it. So you could kind of test yourself to see how fast you can get down from 50 to zero coins. I love that. And this restarts at 50 coins. So you gotta get 50 coins to zero. Luigi, 
And if you're wondering, like I was when I first built this, now nothing interesting happens if you go in that tube and then go in the first regular start tube. <laughs> Anyways, I love this addition to the course building system. Changing up the original game is just such a good idea to keep things fresh with this system. But anyways, let's move on to the Resner function. So with this stone design, there's quite a mechanism being hidden underneath. Place Lego Mario or Luigi on that action tile there. Yeah. And rotate the figure at the sides here. And you're gonna want to line up the Resner with this part at the right, because this is where you use the skewer function, putting Luigi on that action tile. And by pushing back, you gotta knock out the Resners just like that. Which dang it, I love the function and look of the skewer there. Like they captured that skewer design from Mario so well and it's so simple. <laughs> And the whole skewer section is interestingly enough connected via a clip connection. So you can disconnect that just like this. But anyways, rinse and repeat with that next Resner. So let's see if we line this up. And then, come on, yes. Oh no, we knocked out Toad too. And that actually is a problem with the set, that this top part where Toad rests is a little bit poorly done. We'll get to that later though. All right, let's get those resiners out of the way and show another function of this, which is the mystery block. Basically the mystery block, oh, well, I almost lined it up perfectly, is inside here. So you can't just have Lego Mario Luigi jump on here and read the mystery block. So to get that to push up, there's two ways you could do it. One's the official way and then one's another way I found. The official way, line up the mystery block right about here. You see right so that this part's under it. And then you take Mario Luigi and push up like this. And this is where the two player function would really be useful. So when you lift this up, it pushes back down. And even then it's not pushing up to the right height. So basically have somebody play Mario, have somebody play Luigi, and then you could get them to read the mystery block. This is the same mystery block function that we've had since the starter set. But still, it's a nice inclusion, and I like how that requires two players in a way. Though, of course, you could just go like this and use your finger. Come on. There you go. <laughs> Though the back of the box shows that you could use Toad in their place. That works pretty well. And if you don't know how the mystery block works in the course building world, you have one of six options to get from there randomly. There's star, mushroom, and some coin options, as well as getting extra time. And it's also nice to get that one by two print of the mystery block design at the front there. But anyways, this action plate is found once again on this mechanism, which leads to the final section. Move it so that that plate appears again. Jump on there with Mario Luigi. Just try to do this. There you go. And then rotate it again. And now Luigi gets to meet Toad. We're stomping and that gives you some extra coins. So for the things I don't like about this Toad part, these two candles right here, that's the official placement of them. All that does is make it harder for Mario Luigi to stand on this platform here. They should have just put those maybe to the side or toward the back, but then it would conflict with the Toad figure. So maybe they should have just not put those in general. And the second part is that Toad is only connected with these two studs at the back. There's probably, I guess if you put them in the corner, you could kind of get a, a three stud connection. But with that skewer piece, as you saw earlier, it's very easy just with this loose connection since it's not all four parts connecting for him to fall down. They should have just used the regular plate up here or something because like I said, too flimsy. But anyways, for the rest of this build, you have plates bringing this together and some extra sections. You have a little water section to this side. Lots of areas where you could put enemies from other sets. And then to the right here is just more of a mechanism we saw. But anyways, for a final look at the set, let's take a look at this from the back, which gives a less flattering look of the set. But let's take a look at the packaging and the final verdict. As for the box, it's the perfect size at the $80 box size. Well, I guess this is a $70 set, but you get the point. And the instructions aren't much of instructions, but just a startup guide with an advertisement of some of the newer sets 
found inside. So overall, if you're into course building system, this is one of the better arrangements. I mean, I think of last year where the $70 set was the Toad Treasure Hunt. That had some great parts, but that never felt like it was worth $70. This one feels like it's worth $80 even. This has a lot going on and I love that. It's worth the $70 price. The skewer function works really well, though like I said, there is that problem with the toad part being insecure. I do love how that's captured though. The, the, the skewer itself looks like it's straight out of the game. And the inclusion of stuff like the growl or the design of the resiners translate really well into Lego form. A new toad's nice as well. And I think, like I said, for $80, this feels like it's more worth the value than a lot of these other sets. Now, if you're not into the course building system, this is one of the weakest buys you could get. There's a lot of actual pieces for the system itself and not too much in terms of the value you get from just the build here. I mean, the build looks cool, don't get me wrong. Like I think even non-course builder fans might want this central part right here, but I think the rest of the set isn't enough to sell it to those non-course building fans. You're probably just best getting the characters off of eBay or something like that. Because I think all four of the characters translate really well in Lego form in the set, even if they're not minifigures. I didn't expect this to be as great as it is for the course building system. I'd give it a seven out of 10. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below if you're a fan of this course building system or not. And subscribe for more Lego Mario content. I'll see you guys later. Peace out.